wet. He's the smartest man on the I'm him. You're covered. If you've got a question, ask Dr. Rat. Got a fever. <laughs> oh, I love those spies. Oh, oh I'm just doing a little research. Hey, it's me again, Dr. Al. And before we get started, I want to thank everybody for your overwhelming response to my little show. I was stunned, thrilled, and delighted to see we'd gotten literally thousands of views for our first couple of episodes. That was until my producer said that I should stop clicking and watching them over and over again. But I can't help it. I'm enthralling. Anyway, today's question comes from Sherry Bloom of West New York, New Jersey. And Sherry writes, what? West New York, New Jersey? Where the hell is that? What is that, like East Nevada, California? North Dakota, South Dakota? Make up your mind for Pete's sake. Are you from New York or are you from New Jersey? All right, you want to be from West New York, New Jersey? Go ahead, knock your lights out. Zegas and Dagen. You notice no one from New York is saying they live in East New Jersey, New York. Uh, oh, the question? Oh. All right, Sherry Bloom from West New York, New Jersey writes, Dear Dr. Al, where was the Caesar salad invented, and what's the story with those anchovies in the dressing? Well, Sherry, darling, what's the matter? You don't like anchovies? What do you got against them? Believe it or not, there are a couple of people out there who like anchovies, and pig's knuckles, and pickled garlic, and head cheese, and believe me, these are not the kind of people you want to share an elevator with. I know. But, Sherry, I'm with you when it comes to anchovies. I really hate them. I can't stand the way they smell. I can't stand the way they taste. I can't stand those stupid little cans that they pack them in. But, I love them in a good Caesar salad. Go figure. Except my wife won't let me have anchovies in my Caesar salad because my doctor, who's a quack anyway, tells me my blood pressure is too high and the sodium in the anchovies is going to raise my blood pressure faster than a triple dose of Viagra, which my wife never complains about, by the way. Talk about your double standard. And if there's one thing that gets my blood pressure up, it's people who tell me I can't have anchovies in my Caesar salad because it raises my blood pressure and that really broils my brisket. Do you agree? Rock where I'm coming from, Sherry! Now, how can I explain why people who hate anchovies, like us, love this salad which contains morsels of this nasty little salted amphibious creature? Well, Sherry darling, let me first dispel the myth that the Caesar salad was named after Julius Caesar or Augustus Caesar, who were better known for their inventions of beef jerky. Mmm, beef jerky. And it was not named after my favorite Caesar of all, Sid. And some idiots, like this researcher that I fired last week, would have you believe that anchovies were added to the salad because of Mark Anchovy, a salty Italian who liked a spicy Egyptian named Cleopatra. He really made an asp of himself. No, I, Dr. Al, do, however, know the answer. But I wanted to see if the rest of the world had a clue. So I checked with Wikipedia, always a reliable source for important information. They claim the salad was created by a guy named Cesar Cardini, an Italian-born Mexican, not a Mexican-born Italian. Hey, Sherry, I'll bet you he was from East Italy, Mexico, right? Yeah. But they gave no explanation of Mr. Cardini's decision to include bits of the Anguillus mordax from the Greek Anguillus, meaning European anchovy, and Latin mordax, meaning fighting. I am so smart. Put them together and you got a tasty treat that doesn't work anywhere except in Caesar Cardini's delicious salad. So, to answer your question, why are there anchovies in Caesar salad? Well, there are a couple of reasons I can think of. One, somebody bet Cardini, a chef who liked a good challenge, that he couldn't come up with a way to make anchovies taste good. Or two, he wanted to kill off his mother-in-law by raising her blood pressure. But the most likely answer is three, because Mr. Cardini wanted to put him in the salad. I hope this answers your question, Sherry. And remember, whatever the problem, it's all relative. Now, back to the grindstone. <laughs> oh, the fold-in. You know the words. He's the smartest man on the Sing along. Everybody. If you've got a question, ask Dr. Rat. Sing it, baby. Hey, I'd love to answer your question. Write to me, Dr. Al, at this email address. You can send an email or even a video. See you next time. Ouch! 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 Ouch!